This Around Wellington.com news spot has been brought to you by The Wellness Experience and Dr. Randy Lorich, who offers a gentle approach to chiropractic care that includes using high technology equipment. He also offers massage, nutrition, stretching programs, decompression therapy, and physical modalities. The Wellness Experience is located at Cabasco's Crossing along Forest Hill Boulevard in Wellington. Call 561-333-5351. This news spot has also been brought to you by the Law Offices of Alexander L. Dom, PA, who hopes you enjoy this video. I'm here with Tim tonight. Um, let's hear a little bit about your uh, previous experience with uh, the horse community and um, uh, the Duda Corporation as well. Well, I grew up in India r riding horses uh, as a young kid. Came to this country when I was 17 years old um, as a proficient polo player as well and a uh, show jumping rider. Then found my niche uh, faltering around to create this company in 1988. That's 26 years ago. And along the way, I've had a ride and a half, and uh, Wellington is the horse capital of the world. I think it's the best of the best of show jumping, dressage, eventing, and polo. And uh, if you are a horse lover, uh, Wellington is the address. What differs um, with dressage in comparison to the other equestrian events? Well, dressage is the classical format of any equestrian sport. If you ride a horse, that's dressage. Dressage is the ultimate communication between a rider and his horse. Uh, dressage to the layman's terms, uh, what's happening tonight, it's ballet on horseback or a musical freestyle where the horse performs uh, required choreography uh, doing certain patterns with the music. Um, dressage is the backbone of any riding, whether you're a hobby rider going to the beach or you're an Olympic champion going jumping six foot fences. So we get the pleasure to give wings to the best of the best, the champions around the world. And uh, horses are just like human beings. Uh, they are eccentric, they can be funny, they could be challenging, they could be moody, they could be laid back, or they could be the type A personality CEOs. So at Duda Corp, we try to gauge what characters we have on, on the plane and we give them the service. We have horses that want to be left alone. We have horses that want to be pampered. We have horses that want earmuffs. We want horses that <laughs> like music. We, like ho we have horses uh, going to Olympic Games that like likes their lights dimmed and kept warm. We have horses uh, that are afraid of the light and we have to fly the airplane with bright lights and a lot of people around them. Some horses drink water. Some horses do not like to drink water. There we come out. We, some horses like iced tea in their water. Some horses like apple juice. Some horses do not like the sulfur of South Florida. And in that case, we have to double purify them. And we keep buying these five-gallon jugs from wherever and, and have aqua pure on the airplane. So horses are, the horses we fly are extremely valuable. They are extremely individuals. And we are flying people's dreams. And dreams meaning winning medals. So we do what it takes to give them wings and get them there in their perf perfect shape so they can win. And Wellington is no longer just a small little village in the state of Florida. It's a world destination. And we have so many nationalities and kids and, and families from around the world that it gives Wellington an ambassadorial uh, venture for these people to meet from folks from around the world that are transient residents for the f four months. That's awesome. The question I'd really like to ask is how did you get involved in dressage, both of you, but I'll let the lady go first. Finally. Um, for me it was a bit accidental actually. I um, had a friend who was entered in a dressage clinic. I was doing jumpers and eventers at the time and she asked if I would be interested in riding her horse because she'd broken her leg. Um, and rode in the clinic and the gentleman who was teaching it actually introduced me to this one as well and kind of got me on the road to, to dressage. So that's Excellent. sort of how I started. Great. And yourself? Oh, my family. My mom is a breeder in Germany so I got born into the horse family and um, yeah, very young. I started as a professional and I ended up in Sonny Wellington. <laughs> yeah. So my most proud moment was um, at the North American Junior Rider Championships 
My last year, um, my young rider horse and I won individual silver and bronze, um, which is all of the United States and Canada and Mexico. But we had to be accidentally excused from the award ceremony, so we didn't get to get our medals with everybody else because my horse lost his mind, took me out of the arena, back to the barn before I could stop him. So <laughs> it was a little bit embarrassing, but ended with a happy note. I got to go in on foot and have my own special award ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right, for me, I guess my proudest moment was when I finished my master's degree in Germany as a professional writer, as one of the youngest masters ever in history. That was wow. pretty awesome and then uh, yeah funniest moment was probably I assume last year here in Wellington when I was riding a young horse in the test in front of an <laughs> old judge and I told her how good it's gonna be and yeah two minutes later I jumped out of the arena I have a lot of funny pictures about it horse looked like a deer jumping out of the arena but yeah that's great tell, tell us a little bit specifically what you're looking for as a judge with with the sport overall it has to look good. It has to look relaxed. It has easy. to look easy. <laughs> this is the main thing. It has to look easy because it's supposed to be fun. You see so many rides that just look like such hard work. And when it looks like a lot of work, then normally something is wrong. So what I really look for the most is do I have a nice relaxed horse and do I have a smiling rider up there? And she's pretty good with the smiling, <laughs> for example. I try. <laughs> If the horse is happy and it chews, like we say, on the bit, the horse has the saliva gland sitting right here and it um, creates a lot of saliva, which with the chewing on the bit turns into foam. So that means that the horse is actually nice and loose in the jaw. You probably know stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> which uh, turns into, a, again, nice and relaxed horse, a happy horse. There you can tell the horse is happy. I had people ask me before if horses actually have uh, rabies. <laughs> Somebody saw it and said, Kevin, does this horse have rabies? No, no, no. That's a good it's a sign. Good thing. You like want to see that. We like that. Yes. I mean, Wellington, we're so fortunate because there's such a plethora of equestrian sports to come and watch and to enjoy. I think what's really unique about dressage is that it's truly a lifetime sport. You know, you have everybody from children on ponies, you know, 12, 13 years old, to, you know, 70 year olds competing. So it's really something that the whole family can come out and enjoy and see themselves, you know, in the riders out there. And it's truly, you know, it's, it's an art form. Um, it's not quite as exciting, perhaps, as some of the polo or the jumpers, where it's a little bit more of a, a sport, as we're used to. Um, but here you really can see the artistic nature of the sport and sort of that bond between the horse and rider, which is really unique to dressage, I think. So, Mark, tell me just a little bit about this venue and about how dressage is different than the other show jumping and, and the other disciplines. Well, um, traditionally, Wellington has been known for polo and show jumping. And what we've tried to do here is expand uh, to other Olympic disciplines. There are three Olympic disciplines. There's uh, dressage, show jumping, and eventing. So this year we had an eventing competition for the first time in Wellington. And uh, every Friday night we have dressage. So dressage is a musical freestyle where it actually shows the history of horse movements which actually go back to the military and the, actually the training is actually military style training they use to sort of negotiate the battlefield so they actually have converted those um, movements into a routine that gets judged by um, various uh, uh, dressage, uh, dressage judges at different points in the arena so it's a, it's a sort of a fun evening that allows you to to get out and listen to great music see some horses um, work with their rider in a, in a very collaborative uh, uh, fashion and uh, we've been able to attract some of the best riders in the world to this competition so this is something that's really only been in Wellington for four years it's now the largest dressage festival in the world by a factor of three and this week we had over 640 trips um, riding so it's it's actually been a really great success uh, despite a lot of um, challenges along the way but we're very excited about the outcome excellent uh, again our goal is to introduce the sport and make it a lot more inclusive to uh, the community so that it isn't really, you know, I think what was, what would happen before it was really sort of the equestrians and non-equestrians. Right. And what we've tried to make it is, is sort of just one community centered around the love of the horse, whether you're riding a carousel or an Olympic rider. And we've been able to bridge that whole gap. I would say uh, what I think is, has been our most successful accomplishment is the equestrian community used to be a big private club, very formal. Uh, very disengaged from the community, I think, um, for better or worse. I think one of the things that we did was we broke down that barrier and made it much more accessible, much more relevant to the community, 
and uh, made it much more inclusive. And I think people are much more comfortable coming out. I mean, our attire is jeans and a polo shirt, um, and it, it's just very informal. And 80% of our facility is accessible by the public. Yes. How old were you? Uh, I think I had a little pony ride at a birthday party at one point, and I think I was wearing a cowboy hat. Um, so, that was my first exposure to equestrian sport. Do you ride right now still? I, I have a quarter horse uh, that I ride, and it really just trail riding with my daughters and wife. <laughs>